Good afternoon, Board of Directors. We are co-vice presidents of Unfresh Essentials. My name is Hanaya Cooper. My name is Maria Isak. And we're coming to you with an action plan on how to modernize our supply chain. We are a well-established company in the consumer product goods industry, former CBG market leader, but we have currently fallen behind due to our outdated systems. Our vision at Everfresh Essentials is to regain our market leadership position by improving functions within the company, reducing inefficiencies, maximizing productivity, and improving customer service. The current challenges our company, Everfresh Essentials, is currently facing include supply chain operations, which the company operates through older software, Next is inventory concern, difficulty managing supply chain complexities, operational inefficiencies, inefficient operating policies and procedures, and difficulty keeping up with consumer demand shifts and environmental regulations. In order for us to regain market leadership position, our mission is to introduce modern technology to update the company's outdated methods and procedures. Therefore, we'll be focusing on the four key areas of modernization, including supply chain agility, technological innovation, sustainability, and corporate social responsibility and continuity of supply. So our first recommendation would be to integrate the most popular and contemporary method of consumer shopping, e-commerce. Transforming the supply chain and integrating it digitally also requires an upfront investment in compiling and cleaning up data sources. In simplest terms, it means to minimize waste and maximize productivity, which is exactly what lean manufacturing will do. The lean manufacturing approach comprises identifying value, mapping the value, creating flow, using a pull system, and striving for continuous improvement. We are not only looking to eliminate waste, but optimize processes, cut costs, boost innovation, and reduce time. It's also vital to realize the rise of technology. Technology is the future, but more importantly, it's now. So we will start with the integration of technological innovation into our supply chain. In order for us to better appeal to consumers using technology, we will be upgrading our manufacturing equipment to smart machines. These machines can report their status in real time, giving us crucial insights into our production line. By using smart machines, we can make faster, smarter decisions. This boosts efficiency and helps us meet consumer demands more effectively. Now let's talk about integrating IoT devices. These devices can monitor inventory levels, track goods, and spot potential problems in our supply chain. With IoT, we get a clear picture of our inventory and can prevent supply chain hiccups. This means smoother operations and happier customers. Now let's talk about taking our improvements further. While lean manufacturing principles keep us moving forward, we're exploring new territory with machine learning. Even though IoT devices already generate lots of data, we believe machine learning can help us find even deeper patterns in our supply chain. This matters because we get more from data, reach customers better, keep operations smooth, satisfy customers in order for them to keep coming back, work better and faster, and predicting demand accurately. With machine learning, we're finding new opportunities for improvement. Now to give some attention to supply chain agility. Supply chain agility is the ability to effectively and efficiently respond to bottlenecks and hiccups within the supply chain, minimizing casualties and disruption. IoT devices allow us to do that. When combined to work with machine learning models and artificial intelligence, the information can be used to adjust orders and sales volumes, minimizing financial waste, allocating time and resources more efficiently, making more calculated decisions, and improving supply chain analytics. The data collected from blockchain, IoT, and AI will be used to create data insights and combat the challenge of rapid changes in demand. By utilizing data insights, businesses can enhance its sufficiency, reduce cost, and stay competitive in a rapidly evolving marketplace. By utilizing data insights, businesses can enhance sufficiency, reduce cost, and stay competitive in a rapidly evolving marketplace. The implementation of IoT devices will keep the inventory organized, improving communication and delivery performance, reducing errors, increasing productivity, and improving on-time delivery. Even having a list of alternative couriers will reduce hiccups to your supply chain logistics and improve customer satisfaction. Another way to improve customer satisfaction is listening to what they want. But we already know the company struggles to maintain a diverse portfolio and keep up with the rapid changes in preference towards eco-friendly and health-conscious products. Supply chain resilience is not just a virtue, but a necessity. 
Modern strategies should focus on identifying potential risks, diversifying supply sources, and developing emergency plans. To take a load off, we will turn to a world of partnership through omnichannel distribution. Omnichannel distribution is an approach to distribution that enables customers to buy and receive products from multiple sales channels that are seamlessly integrated. Many corporations use omnichannel distribution, such as Target, Nike, Disney, Amazon, and etc. This method will allow the company to give its customers better access to products which provide good customer service and retention. The strategy will reduce costs by providing the information to better predict demand and avoid overstocking or understocking certain products across multiple channels, increase sales by advertising across multiple platforms, attracting customers from everywhere, regardless of where you are and where they are, improve data quality by providing access to a larger data pool and improving operational efficiency, and supply chain management by minimizing waste and maximizing production. But we shall not forget our vision to minimize our environmental impact. Because of our company's commitment to uphold corporate social responsibility, the organizations involved will be within the same market and vision of eco-friendly products. With the implementation of omnichannel distribution, we will recommend implementing blockchain to make the transition smoother. Because of this design, blockchain creates secure records that cannot be secretly edited by any party. Blockchain can also provide a platform for other advancements, like supporting contracts which automatically occur when various criteria are met. Using blockchain ensures privacy and security while data sharing and exchanging information. Blockchain technology will feed the IoT and AI to do more accurate risk assessments, and the process of procurement and order of fulfillment will be automated, covering the continuity of supply. Now, we emphasize the importance of creating a system with these partners so that just-in-time inventory may be implemented. Just-in-time inventory management allows you to work closely with suppliers so that materials will arrive in shipments on a schedule. This allows the company to have as little on-hand inventory as possible, reducing access and shortages. Implementing it will in- This allows the company to have as little on-hand inventory as possible, reducing excess and shortages. Implementing it will result in improved cash flow, reduced holding costs, minimized waste, increased productivity, and enhanced customer satisfaction. This action plan is meant to restore Everfresh Essentials, regain market leadership position, and modernize the supply chain. That itself is no easy task, but we are confident in our plan. If there are any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us via email. With that being said, thank you very much for listening, but we are not done. We will now closely review my team's action plan, detailing the steps needed to fulfill our goal. Our action plan will be including each action along with its steps in order for us to receive our desired outcome. We will be including a status that each team could use to update the status of each task given to them, along with priority and timeline. Now, to make our business thrive online through e-commerce, we'll take three simple steps. Step one, we'll create a secure and professional website showcasing our products. Step two, we'll pick an e-commerce system that suits our needs, making it easy for customers to buy from us safely and track their orders. And step three, we'll spread the word about our products using social media, email, and online ads. Special deals will keep customers coming back. Our aim is to make our business a success online, reaching more customers and regaining our market leadership position. Now, we'll look at how we can advance our company by applying technological innovation to replace outdated systems. We'll achieve this goal through three clear steps. First, we'll identify any outdated processes or procedures disrupting our supply chain. This can include outdated software, manual procedures, or any other inefficiencies affecting our growth. Step two, we will select innovative equipment that can improve our operations and provide better performance. We'll search for smart solutions, smart programs, and digital technologies that improve our supply chain and expedite processes. The last step will be to successfully implement these new technology tools. Make sure they are easily integrated with our supply chain as a whole and as <laughs> make sure they are easily integrated with our supply chain as a whole and with one another. To guarantee that our team members can take full advantage of these adv- The last step will be to successfully implement these new technology tools. Make sure they are easily integrated with our supply chain as a whole and with one another. To guarantee that our team members can take full advantage of these advancements, we will provide them with assistance and training. 
Our aim is to improve our company by adopting new technologies, increasing productivity, and being at the top of our industry. In order to grow our company, we will now start incorporating machine learning. First, we will identify supply chain points where machine learning can have big influence. Tasks like boosting shipment route planning, optimizing inventory levels, and increasing demand forecasting are a few that can be included in this. The second step involves in the second step involves choosing machine learning software or tools based on our specific requirements. The second step involves choosing machine learning oh my God. The second step involves choosing machine learning software or tools based on our specific requirements. We will look for user-friendly solutions that provide simple adaption we will look for user-friendly solutions that provide simple adaption options or pre-built models. We can smoothly incorporate machine learning into our processes through this. Lastly, we will use these machine learning models to automate tasks and get real-time insights into our supply chain operations. Keeping an eye on their performance and making small adjustments to the models to increase their accuracy and effectiveness. By utilizing machine learning to take advantage of the power of machines, we want to strengthen our company. Our goal is to keep ahead of the competition, improve efficiency, and streamline procedures by utilizing these technologies. For improving supply chain visibility, we will first start by identifying blind spots in our supply chain. These could be areas where we lack visibility into our inventory levels, shipping processes, or collaboration with partners. Step two, we will invest in tools that enhance visibility. Considering options like barcode scanners, GPS trackers, or other IoT devices designed to monitor and manage supply chains effectively. And step three, creating a single platform that contains all the data collected from various technologies. This organizes data collecting and provides us with a whole supply chain picture from beginning to end. Our goal is to ensure that we have a complete visibility of our supply chain, allowing us to track every aspect of our operations seamlessly. For improving demand forecasting, we will first begin by understanding how demand for our products behave, reviewing past sales data, seasonal trends, and taking into account any additional variables that might affect changes in demand. Step two, investing in tools or software designed to help us forecast future demand more accurately. These tools examine our past information to find trends and make forecasts using complex algorithms and data analysis methods. And step three, keeping an eye on how accurate our forecasts have been throughout time, keeping our forecasting procedures flexible in response to new information or changes in the market. Our goal is to improve our ability to predict the amount of consumers who will want to buy our products and ensure that we will always have enough goods to meet their needs. To integrate more sustainable products into our product line, we'll approach this in three simple steps. Step one, we will start by evaluating our current products, identifying areas where we can make environmentally beneficial adjustments, such as reducing packaging or switching to renewable materials. Step two, we will research sustainable materials and processes available for our products, looking for options like recycled materials, organic components, and energy efficient manufacturing techniques that align with our sustainability goals. And step three, we'll be integrating sustainable solutions into our product line. We will start with one or two items or experiment with new materials on a smaller scale, keeping an eye on customer feedback and sales data to evaluate how well these changes are received. Our goal is to have more eco-friendly items in our inventory, reducing environmental footprints and meeting the growing demand for sustainable products. Now, we'll be wrapping up our action plan by discussing the crucial aspect of sourcing suppliers and ensuring continuity of supply. Our aim is to always have sufficient stock to sell and keep our customers satisfied. We'll finalize our approach with three key steps. Step one, start by clearly defining what we need from suppliers to keep our business running smoothly, identifying the essential materials or services required for our products or operations to function effectively. Step two, seeking out suppliers who can constantly meet our requirements and provide high quality products or services, considering factors such as reliability, reputation, and their ability to scale alongside our company's growth. And step three, building strong relationship with our suppliers based on trust and open communication. Regularly communicate our needs and expectations and collaborate with them to address any issues in demand effectively. 
will implement these steps to secure our supply chain and maintain continuity of supply, ensuring uninterrupted service to our customers, leading to our main goal of modernizing the supply chain and help our company regain its market leadership position.